We've lived in the jet age for around 70 years. It's arguably one of the greatest innovations of the past century, linking points and people all around the planet. But the jet age isn't without some drawbacks. Jets, while fast, are also loud. They eat up tons of fuel, and they're not so great for the environment. Many people have tried to make improvements to the jet engine, but few can claim to have been in as long as Mike McCune. Mike's an engineer at Pratt & Whitney, a pretty good one, actually, with 66 patents to his name. And he's had this one idea that could radically change the jet engine, something incredibly simple yet fiendishly difficult. He and his colleagues have been at it for 30 years, spending $10 billion in the process, and they think they finally cracked it. The problem with a conventional gas turbine engine is the fan that generates thrust on the front of the engine wants to spin slow for efficiency. The turbine driving the fan at the back of the engine wants to spin fast for efficiency. So you attach the turbine directly to the fan, either is running at the speed it wants for the best efficiency. But you have created something that solves that problem. Yes, so the way we solved the problem of compromising the fan and turbine was to introduce a gearbox in the shaft that reduces the speed of the fan and it lets the turbine spin faster. So each component can now spin at an optimum speed for its best efficiency. Now, why would you want the fan to spin slowly? That seems counterintuitive, given that the whole purpose of a jet is to go very fast. Yeah. The reason you want a fan to spin slow is when it runs very fast, it'll generate a shockwave because the tips are going supersonic. That generates a lot of drag. So by slowing the tips to be subsonic, the fan becomes much more efficient. That efficiency translates into a 15% reduction in fuel consumption, which may sound modest, but has a very real effect on an airline's bottom line. They will save about one and a half million dollars per airplane per year. An engine that burns less fuel also emits fewer pollutants. The changes also mean an engine that's much quieter, up to 75% quieter, in fact. Mama, it's me. No, no, I'm still in Florida. Yeah, I'm standing in front of a jet engine. We're, we're testing out how loud it is. Oh yeah, but you can hear me, right? Yeah. All right. I love you. Bye. It works. <laughs> Pratt & Whitney says we might fly on a plane with these engines as soon as the end of the year. Currently, they're being tested around the clock for about two months, making sure stuff like wind, hail, or birds won't break them. In an age when new technologies can arrive almost daily, a 30-year project sounds almost insane. But McCune is betting his breakthrough will pay off for a long, long time.